Hi hi everyone, it's Karen here from Eden Secret and oh you all know that but I just thought I'd say it anyway. Some people might not know that my name's Karen. Okay, so um, what we're making today is pink champagne cream silk soap. Um, another lovely one. Delicate, I would say strength wise it's medium to strong. Uh, it's not overpowering though and it's kind of delicate, it's it's strange, it's not weak uh, but it's a lovely delicate fragrance. Um, I've got my molds here ready to go, there's nothing special about them, they haven't got screws, they don't screw together, they don't come apart. Um, and I use these silicon molds from Brambleberry they are fantastic i've had them for years and years and years and years and i use them every single day um more than once and um they haven't budged at all they're absolutely brilliant it saves your line and your mold yeah the only thing that would be nice is if they were a bit higher um they're kind of high enough because you can still pile soap up on the top without touching the edge. Um, so I'm really, really happy with these. I'll put a link to those in the description box below. Um, I wish Brambleberry were in the UK because I would buy a lot more from them. Um, but I really do think they're a great company. So... Um, these are my favourite product from Brambleberry. So there you go. The boxes I just literally had made from a local uh, wood man manufacturer. Um, dare I tell you how much they cost? Dare I tell you that? They were £8 each. So I don't want to upset anyone by saying that. People that sell such things. But yeah, £8 each. That's all they were. It's done now. I've said it. It's over. Right. So here we go. We've already got our soap and lye in the tin. I can't get my um, I can't get my tripod any higher than it is. I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But you'll see me mixing it in the jugs. What's really good about this Bosch um, blender is it actually spins slow and it doesn't have any holes in the bottom. Um, so it doesn't make so many bubbles. It does make bubbles, but it doesn't make so many. And because it turns slowly, um, again, it makes less bubbles. You're always going to get bubbles in your soap, but this does produce a few. Well, quite a few, but not tons like others do. So I've just mixed the soap until it's opaque in colour probably not be a very long video on this because this is the great thing about loaves of soap they're very very quick to make So we'll just get our jugs. I need three. Pale pink, white and gold. Just gonna give them a rub out before we start. Jugs, you should be able to get them from any kitchen shop. Oh, I don't know, but I'm just saying Costco. I've only been in Costco once, but maybe those kind of shops you'll get things like this. Right. 
Right, so let's move those over there. And we're going to put um, 400 mils in this one. 400 in this one. And 1400 in this one. Now the, the jugs they have the measurements on the side they're pretty faint now I don't know if you can see them there they are um, so it's easy to measure um, so we'll do the same for we've got two loaves to make uh, this is the first loaf so I'll mix everything up for the first loaf and pour it and then I'll do the second one Again, this is just because some fragrances move fast, um, others don't, but some do. And when they do move fast, you don't get a very nice pour. You just end, end up blobbing the soap into the mould and it doesn't look as good. Not to me, it doesn't look as good. So you get a nicer swirl if you can keep the soap thinner, at a thinner trace. Gonna move you over there. I'm just putting some titanium dioxide into my jug. I'll pour some water in there. Give it a stir. And then I need uh, my red colour and my gold colour. There's loads of gold micas out there, anyone will do, it, there's, it doesn't matter. There are darker ones and lighter ones and this is a darker one. Um, the red, um, it does have a number, I should know it off the top of my head. I think it's 12490, but if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description box so you know what you're looking for. Right, so we're going first to add, this is my fragrance, this is how, I love these aluminium tins, they, they just go on forever. I um, love to put my colours and my fragrances into those okay so here we go we're going to put some titanium dioxide in the jug quite a lot because this is a nice pastel pink we're also going to put some td into one of the smaller jar jugs and some of the gold color i always put a heaped heap teaspoonful in just makes it nice and rich And then I just need a pipette. These I get from just a soap because I don't want to go overboard with the colour. I want it to be a very, very pale pink and if you pour it in then you can easily get lost. So we're going to try uh, two millilitres. Hopefully, make sure you put your lid back on your colour every time you use it because if you're anything like me, you might knock it over and lose it all. Also, we'll pop some colour, some fragrance in, in there. I'm 
and then we'll mix the pink first. That's perfect. That's the perfect pink. Lovely and pale, but not cream. Just very, very pastel pink. And we'll pour it into the first mould. And then we just tap down a couple of taps and then we're going to mix these two. Look, I've tipped my titanium dioxide over. That is the worst thing to to wipe up. Accidents happen all the time to an artist. So we'll just give these a stir. And then we're going to pour. So with this one... I'll just again a nice thin pour down the soap, up the soap, down and then do exactly the same with the white. And then we'll do the same in the other container. So that's one pod and then it's ready to pipe on top of. I'm not going to tap it down, that one. So now we need to mix the others. But I'm going to have to mix up some more titanium. So I'll just mix that up, clean it up, and then I'll be back with you in a second to do the second one. Okay, so we're ready to mix up the topping now. And we're going to put some TD in there. I don't think there's enough, so I'll just mix up some more. It's just under the camera. Keep it up there, I shouldn't spill it. And again, we're going to go for two mils of the red because this topping is pink. little bit of the fragrance And that'll 
will be ready to go in no time at all. So we'll just give it a stir and as I said before keep stirring it occasionally every minute or so until it's exactly the right thickness. It's not quite there yet. So I'll just turn the camera off until it's ready. Won't be long. Okay, so we're ready to pipe. It's rather thick, so we're going to have to get moving. On this technique, it just looks so pretty, I think. And what I do is I start at this end I go across, up and round up and round all the way down to the other end that's one And then the other one, just put some more soap in this. I can't answer it, just leave it. I've got an air pocket in my bag, but I'll be able to tidy it up later. And that's that. And then we're just going to sprinkle some of these on the top. And then that's the pink champagne door, except the cutting. Whoops. Again, I'll just leave those there and I'll be able to press them down later on when the soap's hardened up a bit. Last thing we need on there is just some glitter. about my solar panels. No, they're not interested. <laughs> there you go. I think it looks really, really nice that swirl. Right, we'll be cutting this very soon. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are to unmold the pink champagne. Um, we've got our two loaves here. I just lost a bit of soap over the side of the mold there, which makes it stick to the container. And you'll see, even though these molds don't come apart, how easy it is to unmold with these silicon molds. So we just lift it up, tip it over, give it a little bit of a tap, and pull it out like this. So easy, so neat, so tidy. Just peel the mold off like so, and then we'll do the same with this other one I'm 
just tip it over, it pops out, peel it back and off it goes. Right, a lot of you, well some of you have mentioned my knife, my cutting knife. Um, it is here today, so there she is, she just needs a quick clean before I cut into these soaps and I'm just going to cut them in half and then I'm going to cut the rest on the cutter. For now it'll turn up somewhere now half of this I have to cut it in half because the soap cutter isn't long enough for the length of this mold so I just cut it in half and I know that the halfway mark on this soap is 21 and a half centimeters Just cut, cut through there. And that is all you're going to see of my knife. I'm just going to scrape it off. The other great thing with the uh, saw cutter from the mall shop is you don't need to scrape it either. You do need to clean it around the edges, but you don't need to scrape the soap. Right, I'm just going to cut this one as well. It does smell lovely, this. It's a really fresh, clean scent. Quite ozonic but interesting you know it does have warm notes as well if you like Issy Miyake perfume you will love this because this is similar to that fragrance now we've got four towers of soap All ready to be cut. Oh, that would make a nice photo. I'm just going to stop and take a photo of this and then um, we'll be back to cut it in a sec. <laughs> 